Welcome back to another Chaos Cube draft here on the Corset Gathering channel. The, ga the Gathering Network. The Corset Gathering Network. Uh, there was a question posed right before I left and right before we started this video. It was called... The, the question... It wasn't called anything. Questions don't have names. Uh, it, the question itself was... <clears throat> um... Uh, I don't know. It's gone now. Oh, well, I guess I can't answer it. Just kidding. I will definitely be answering it. Um... What's the first magic card you remember getting really attached to? And it was Vesuvian Shapeshifter, actually, uh, from Revised. The first cards I ever opened and had my hands on were Revised cards. Uh, a friend from high school, a friend from middle school, actually, showed me magic. Uh, his name was Adam Egner. <clears throat> I wonder what happened to that kid. And then he he was like, here, look, there's this new game called Magic. He showed me all the cards. And, like, at the time, I had never seen anything like this before. It was so cool. Uh, I already collected, like... X-Men trading cards and comic book trading cards. So the fact that there were, these were just trading cards that I was already uh, accustomed to, but I could also use them in a game, blew my mind. Um, and so, like, the Super Shapeshifter, for some reason, just actually... I just thought the art was super cool. I was like, this art's amazing. I've never seen anything like this before. And it had, like, all this text, and I was like, I don't even know what's going on in this card, but... Um, Anyway, that was uh that was the card that really stuck out to me and like to this day I'm like, man, that was a cool looking card. Okay, let's do it. What do we got here? Darksteel Colossus? I wish that guy didn't get shuffled into your thing. Into your into your Labrario. Some questions might have names. Prove it. Wrecked. What's it like to get wrecked? <coughs> okay. Uh, murder is also just a solid rule spell. Demon of Catastrophe is was surprisingly hard for us to deal with. Uh, yes, each pain has some experience. Yeah, okay. Okay. I might just want the Demon of Catastrophes, and we can, maybe we can build around it with a bunch of sacrifice dudes. Krenko was also super powerful in the Goblin deck. This pack seems good, as far as I can tell. Earthquake seems great. You seem great. My name is Jeff. <coughs> I'm going to take this Demon of Catastrophes, I think. 6-6 six, six Floater with, with Trample is pretty bueno. Also, Gravedigger's good. Woodland Bellower seems nice, but I don't know how many creatures we're going to be able to, to pull out of our libraries. But Birds of Paradise also seems pretty nuts out here. I'm, I'm leaning toward the Gravedigger, not only because it's the only black card in the pack, but all of the green cards are very, very high picks. <clears throat> and this is actually a solid, like a solid limited card. Plus, if we can get back a dude and then sacrifice this to the demon, it seems pretty okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't see a reason to go into a different color based on this pack. Actually, Thrag Tusk is pretty darn good. But then we're also passing like Bird and Elf, which we're probably not getting back. <clears throat> I risked it for the best. Oh, Bane Slayer Angel! That seems insane in this format. Also, I have not drafted Black White yet. Yeah, we're going to take the Bane Slayer Angel here. Also, Apex Predator seems very good, too. Can't prove it, nor can I disprove it. Well, then I guess you lose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to go Black White. Black Red has a sacrifice archetype. I have not seen it, but I imagine you're correct. Oh. You know what Nightmare is good for? Oh, this is a demon. Is it possible to get four or more demons? I doubt it. I doubt it. I have me doubts. Oh, I have me doubts. Ali and Trazi is like, let's record the podcast. And I'm like, I can't. I'm about to stream. And then he was like, 
Right, and so I was like, all right, well, tell me a time that works for you. And he didn't tell me a time. So I just again recently, I was like, all right, well, give me a time. And he's like, when I said, and I was like, but that was in the past. And he's like, all right, I could probably do it in 30 minutes. And I'm like, I'm still streaming. And this is my life. <clears throat> I'm going to take contract. It's four cards either way. And maybe there's a bunch of demons we can get. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? The other card is Nightmare, and Nightmare might table. I'm also really, uh... Oh, I like Liliana here, because we can actually flip her with our Demon of Catastrophes. I'm going to take the Liliana. I think it's stronger than Assassinate and Phyrexian Rager. <clears throat> also, I like that uh, we can probably go Mono Black here. Did I shake this? I don't know. I know I put drink in here. I don't know if I shook it, though. No, I shook it. Why don't you stream the recording of the podcast? Uh, we actually were doing that towards the end. We were live streaming the podcast when we recorded it. <clears throat> and uh, I think we'd probably do that again. The So my biggest issue with the podcast, and I've said this, I've been on record to saying this multiple times, was that I, I did a lot of the... Uh... Machang, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome, buddy. Thank you so much. I know that uh, <clears throat> I know that was an obnoxious amount of work to go through, so I do appreciate that kind of support. Really, really means a lot. Thank you. Uh, Priest seems great. You get a 2 2 and a 5 5 flying demon for 5, and you can also sacrifice the 2 the two, 2 for the demon. <clears throat> and my, my throat's all scratchy right now, so I apologize for that. Um, one of the biggest issues with doing the podcast was that I was doing a lot of the, the legwork, right? Like, I was I, I set up the stream, I, I streamed it on my end, I uploaded the video to, to my YouTube channel. Um, I was responsible for all the hosting costs. Oh, we, we split the costs, but I was responsible for the hosting. I would upload it, I would edit it, I would produce it, I would put it on the website. And if we had a better way to um, delegate that work, to distribute it, I would be a lot more eager to just jump in. But like, <clears throat> our podcast wasn't like, we were, we were. <laughs> I, I actually think it's probably every single day where someone's like, man, I miss Freshly Brewed, you guys should keep doing that. And uh, it's probably at least once a day that we hear that. And... But, like, that being said, like, we didn't monetize it enough so that we could, like, afford an editor to do all this for us. It just didn't didn't make any kind of financial sense. Um, but maybe it's an option. I don't know. He also does do a, a podcast with Justin Parnell. That is true. <clears throat> oh, the murder came back. That's fantastic. This is like such a. This is just a really, really solid removal spell. And <laughs> oh, the flavor text on this is gas. It's not work if you enjoy it. Oh god, that's great. That's great. Wow, Thrag Dust came back too. Huh. That's actually really surprising. Like we could actually play bottle gnomes. I'm gonna take the Thrag Test. Maybe the Garrick is next pack? Huh. Yeah, that seems decent. <clears throat> oh, the Nightmare did come back. Holy smokes. We also take the Foul Orchard if we want to play these. Interesting. Now we have some decisions to make here and nine seconds to make them. It's gotta be Nightmare, right? Yeah, I don't feel like it's it's not really I don't I mean these guys are great, but like I'm not gonna take a Did Thurg Tusk Yust Vild <laughs> Gosmet, come on buddy. Come on, buddy. <clears throat> you can do better than this. Oh, wow! We are definitely in the right colors here. Holy smokes. 
I think Rager is the more well-rounded card than Zombie. I'm going to take the Rager. Like, I'll always play the Rager, but sometimes I'm not super eager to play the Zombie. Wow. <clears throat> Jeez. Yeah, this ended up quite well. I'm uh I'm pretty okay with this with this start. <clears throat> Hell's Caretaker, that's a solid gentleman. Fell Spectre. This actually uh is misleading. Like it kind of does way more damage than you'd think. Especially if you can get something like Hypnotic Spectre or anything that just makes them discard incremental cards, Ravenous Rats or something. I do like a Hell's Caretaker, though. Because you can actually bring your Demon of Catastrophes back without sacrificing a guy because it's just a 6-6. Six, six. Unbelievable gut shot for the moment. I just watched the match the other guy mentioned insane. That's crazy, dude. <laughs> I love that you just watched that old match. That's great. Uh, we went 6-1. We, went uh, we did lose a game. <clears throat> but we did not lose a match. I think Hell's Caretaker is probably better than the uh, the alternative. Ulcerate. Oh, Mutilate's good. However, <laughs> here's here's an ironic, uncomfortable truth here. Mutilate will always kill Nightmare. So that's something to, to keep in mind. I don't think Zombie Infestation is the pick here. Ulcerate could be the pick. It's. I think I just want to kind of have a Mutilate. <clears throat> Mm, yeah, it's probably Mutilate. I mean, we might not play. We're probably not going to main the Mutilate. Oh, Soren's Vengeance is a card I'm a huge fan of. Yeah. Again, if we can get Sanguine Bond with this. Oh. This also looks like a demon. This is also a demon that, uh, that kills a thing. So, we're definitely taking this guy. 5-6 Flyer, that Necrotal something is pretty good. It also kills a non-demon, so it's actually more versatile than terror. <clears throat> uh, I did top 8 that PT. Yes, I did. I don't know if I won my next match. I'm not sure if I won the match after that either, but I did win one of them. There were multiple win and ins that I had to win, and I, I literally lost all of them except for the very last one. And it was probably the most stressful thing ever. I think it's probably Frexian Arena here over Strands of Night. However, being able to recur Shadowborn Demons is pretty good. Three! Three demons! Oh, oh, oh. How do you have... You have to have four demons? Oh, crying out loud. That's... That's a lot of work. <clears throat> I don't think we need Urborg because we're going to be mono black. I think Greyblade Marauder is a fine blocker. Crypt Rats is cool, but... It's only kind of a... It's a play in one act, so to speak. <laughs> I kind of just want the Marauder. I don't think I need. I don't think I care about Fallen Angel. It's not really a five drop that I'm looking for. Yeah, I'll just take the one four that blocks with Death Touch. It blocks everything. <clears throat> Shut boopy. Shut boopy. Demon of Deathgate. Keep the demons coming. There's also a Necrotol in here, which is very, very good. We need to pay life. So this guy's nine mana. I really don't want to sacrifice three black creatures to play this guy. I think we're just taking the Necro. Oh, because actually Consume Spirit's probably where we want to be, right? Like, I bet one, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. One of these cards is going to table. <clears throat> I would probably put my money on the Angelica Accord, but I don't know. So, I think it's one of these two. Actually, I think we have a good amount of removal. We have murder. All right, we're going to highlight this because I think this goes this goes face and that's really strong. Soul of Innistrad. Soul of Innistrad is actually very, very good. Reason being, you can just return three creatures from your graveyard, even if they kill it. <clears throat> I like Consume Spirit because of the life gain, uh, which could be relevant in certain situations. 
Wow, our deck looks insane. I would like some more two drops, but I don't actually know how many two drops are available for the the mono black deck. But if I can sacrifice like a rager to play a demon of catastrophes, I am on board. We can also get it back with Soul of Innistrad. You think Necrotal can afford black black? <clears throat> Is that what you're saying to me right now? Oh, Fell Spectre came back. All right. Well, there you go. And Ulcerate did not, but Zombie Infestation is fine. Whenever an opponent discards. I wish it was like whenever a player discards a card. Target opponent takes two. I would just be like, discard my hand, kill you. That would be a cool combo. <clears throat> we could make an 18 lander. I don't feel like we need to yet, though. I'm not a big 18 land fan. I want to maximize the number of uh, spells in my deck rather than land arenas. Black Cat? That's a two-drop. This is also a creature that we would love to sacrifice for a Demon of Catastrophes. Same with Doom Dissenter. But I'm not sure we take it over Terror. I think Terror is actually better here. We also have 14 creatures. Wow, those are... If this Necrotal comes back, Chris, I'm going to be over the moon, dude. I went back and made a bunch of your recommended changes to that Jeskai Souls deck. I'm 7 one last. Dude, that's awesome, dude. Josh, way to go, buddy. Okay, Strands came back like we were expecting. Fallen Angel... Necrotal would have to be the last card in the pack, so I don't believe it's going to happen, but... Viscera Seer might. That's not unplayable. That's a 9-9? That dude's huge. Good gravy. Ooh, Tendrils of Corruption. Is that better than Alhamaret's Archive? If you would gain life, you gain twice that much life instead. That seems pretty nuts with Soren's Vengeance and with, uh, like, what are the other life gain cards? Like, all of our life gain cards. Vampire Nighthawk, Liliana. <coughs> Consume Spirit. I'm pretty sure it's actually Tendrils here. Actually, Tendrils could probably wheel. I'm going to take the Archive. If you would draw a card, except the first one you draw on each of your draw steps, draw two cards. So this makes Phyrexian Arena draw two cards. We don't actually have that many ways to draw cards, though, is one of the problems. Actually, Liliana's contract. Do you just draw... How many did you draw with Liliana's contract? Eight? Anyway. Archive's probably where we're going to be. Card's good. I'll play it. Liliana of the Dark... Oh, Grave Pact. <clears throat> Grave Pact. That's where we want to be. This is, this, is, this is perfect. This is everything we wanted. Loving the core queue. Update for you. Five direct currents is definitely too many. Good to know. Good to know. I actually... Uh, I would agree with that. I can get behind that. Oh, Mind Twist. And Platinum Angel. And Bone Dragon. And Covenant of Blood. Well, this pack is pretty good. I'm going to take this demon out. Uh, despite the fact that it is our fourth demon, I don't really think it's going to be... Uh, Super likely that we get all of them at one time. And also, like, I don't like the idea of paying six life and getting staggered and doing the thing. Put you in the sideboard for now. Fell Spectre, you're mediocre. I just want to make some room because I know we're going to get better cards. I like Bone... I like Mind Shatter a lot. I also like Platinum Angel. I think it's Mind Shatter. It's, it, Mind Shatter is... The biggest thing about Mind Shatter is that it's random. Which is pretty huge. Reassembling Skeletons also great with uh, Grave Pact... Or like Hell's Caretaker or Grave uh, Demonic Demonic Catastrophes. <clears throat> so basically all of our four drops. I can see this being in the main deck. Necromancer, same thing. Fleshbag Marauder, also pretty good because it triggers Grave Pack twice. However, I still think Necromancer's probably better. 
Oh, this is a Disciple of Bolas deck for sure. Like, we have a bunch of 6-6s six that we can, like, sacrifice. I think Vengeful Pharaoh is actually decent here. All right, well. These picks are actually pretty easy here. Oh, wow, Corrupt? Oh, boy. Is it Isereth or is it Corrupt here? Oh, my God. This is like a 25. This is a this is a 60-card deck for, for sure. <clears throat> Mother of God. Yeah, I like Corrupt better. And Tendrils comes back, like you do. Seems good. So right now we have Consume Spirit, Corrupt, and Tendrils. Guys, I think we're in the right colors. I might take out Archive, but gaining twice as much life from a Corrupt, gaining like 12 life from a Corrupt seems pretty insane. How do we cut four cards from this? Consume Spirit can probably go because we have Corrupt and Tendrils. That's just too expensive. Like, to do the same damage Corrupt is doing, you're actually spending eight mana, <clears throat> which is just worse. Um, I think we can also cut Liliana. No, nah, she's a Planeswalker. I don't know. Beacon of Unrest. Yeah, I'm actually... I don't think this is even necessary. This is kind of a win more. We'll take the Beacon. Bacon of Unrest. Covenant and Bone Dragon. Bone Dragons... I wish this was a Demon Skeleton, but whatever. I will take the Bone Dragon. <clears throat> this is a late Equilibrium. People got no respect for that bad boy. Uh, Cut the Cat. I like... Oh, wow. Flesh Marauder. Okay, Liliana Spectre. Sure. Hmm. I actually like the cat a lot because we don't have that many two drops, and it, it works very well for things like uh, Hell's Caretaker and Demon of Catastrophes. Okay, three cuts here. <clears throat> Yikes. Disciple of Bolas might be one of them. I can see cutting Fleshbag Marauder. I think this is good. This is good. Good. Eh, Liliana Spectre doesn't really do much for us. But you cut Caretaker? It's right here. I would never cut Caretaker in this deck. Ventral Pharaoh? You guys don't like Ventral Pharaoh? Thank you. Krasuski Man, thank you so much for the resub. 33 months in a row. Suggestion add swamps. That does sound like a winning strategy. I will not argue with that. Um, like Cat's not a super good top deck, but it does work very well with Hell's Caretaker, right? Like it works with Hell's Caretaker, it works with Grave Pact, it works with Demon, <clears throat> it works with Liliana. Like it's just a, a reasonably, it's like just a cheap creature that we can kind of throw away. I think Vengeful Pharaoh might be the cut, maybe. But, like, just being able to kill any creature that attacks us, it's pretty good. Uh, you don't actually need any for Xanthor Necromancer. The point is it kills itself. It's the same thing with Rotlung Reanimator. It doesn't kill itself, but it, re, uh, it makes a guy for itself. It's the same thing with Rotlung Reanimator, where... Um, Where as long as it gets like it's just a it's just a two two that replaces itself. You actually don't need other humans for it at all. I might just cut the contract. Drawing four is great, but like we have a lot of other sources of card advantage. Sixteen lands, definitely not playing sixteen lands. That is one crazy Mitch. Um.
we don't actually have four demons, right? Sort by... I was going to sort by by type. Can I do that? Uh, group uh, Sort by... No. Okay. <coughs> well, let's add the 17 lands anyway. Maybe we just play 41. I'm actually fine with 41. You think we have four humans? All right, so we have Necromancer, Liliana, and Priest. I think we have three. Oh, four demons. Do we have four demons? I think we have a fourth in the sideboard. I think we only have three in the main deck, though. Like, we have Priest, which makes a demon, Shadowborn Demon, Demon of Catastrophes. <coughs> This is a nightmare horse. You know, like you do. I mean, this is just draw four, take four damage, right? Like, that seems good enough. I'm going to save, like, I'm just going to play like this. We'll see what happens. I don't think we're ever going to get four demons out and uh, drawing and, and actually having Liliana's contract. That's a five card combo. <clears throat> which I don't really believe is going to be that frequent. However, I'm pretty much okay with uh, with a 41er. I will play first. I'll keep this hand. We got a removal spell on three. We got a mind shatter on four. I don't know if that's great, but... If you have four demons out, aren't you? Yeah, that's the thing, right? Like, even if I have three demons out, and I'm like, oh, I hope I get my fourth demon in the game where I have three demons out and I've drawn four cards... Like, at that point, I think you're already way ahead. Uh, at the beginning of your upkeep, if there are fewer than six creatures in your graveyard, sacrifice a creature. Sure. This is going to be rough because um, we don't have that many creatures. But at worst, it's just a five-mana kill your guy, and then it blocks a creature for a turn. Oh, that was a good draw. How nice. Oh, we can also sacrifice it next turn. That was the perfect draw. And it contributes to this guy. Unbelievable. I think we might just want to kill this Jace, though. Jace Bellerin is a hell of a drug. <clears throat> we can also just play Shadowborn Demon next turn. Let's attack. Get him. Get him. Make a 6-6 six, six or let them loot one time? Uh, these are the questions here. I think make a 6-6. Six, six. <clears throat> Next turn we can make them discard three cards if we want to. I presume they're going to go play a spell, play a thing, they'll go to four cards, and then they discard three of them at random, which seems pretty good. The contract all waiting on is a lot better if you're playing with sets that have a lot of demons that are less impact. Yeah, I agree with you, but unfortunately, there's not a lot of demons. All right. They just copied it? What is this, a fan, a clone? You know what, buddy? We can't even kill it because it's non-demon, so we'd have to murder it, which is pretty scary. I think we're just going to mind shatter here. Oh, actually, then they get to flip Jace. Ooh, that's gross. Yikes. Eh, we're just going to murder it for now. <clears throat> And then we're going to kill... Elvish Archdruid is interesting when they're... With the cards we've seen right now. Maybe we just win with Demon of Catastrophes. Of Catastrophes. What a revolting development. Sunken Hope. At the beginning of each player's upkeep, that player returns a creature they control to his owner's hand. Oh, that's pretty brutal. Yikes. <clears throat> I 
At the beginning of your upkeep, if there are fewer than six creatures in your graveyard, sacrifice a creature. Yikes. All right, so this is going to go on. Ours is going to go on the stack first, and then this goes on the stack after that, because we are the active players. So our abilities go on the stack. Um, problem being that we bounce this guy, <clears throat> and then we have to sacrifice this guy. So that's pretty brutal. Wow, sunken hope was not what I was hoping to see here. Sacrifice a thing, or if there are fewer than six creature cards in your graveyard, sacrifice a creature. That's going to go on the stack. It's going to force us to sacrifice. Ugh. <clears throat> Meanwhile, they just bounce the augury owl, and. Wow, that's really hard to deal with. I mean, I guess we just make them discard their hand and bounce this guy. But then they flip Jace, and then, like, oh, we don't have an answer to Jace. Do we have five draws that win us with no pressure? That seems like a lot. What are they? Corrupt? I don't know. I don't know what the five draws would be. The problem is we're gonna have to bounce one guy, and uh, yeah, we cut the we cut the consume vapors, consume spirit, whatever. All right, bounce a dude. I will bounce this guy because it kills pretty much anything they play. Now we have to sacrifice the demon. Yeah, that was not ideal. However, this is pretty ideal if they don't have a counterspell for it. <clears throat> oh, they didn't play anything, so that's interesting to me. So they're probably just going to counter this. Oh my god. Why didn't you play Augury Owl? Wow, we just mind-twisted them for for five. Soren's Vengeance isn't out. That is true. So that's two. The problem is like we have to play two dudes a turn. Yikes. But this going on the stack first every single time means we just kill whatever they play, which is great. Because <clears throat> I can't imagine they have demons in their deck. I actually don't... It feels like we're just going to win this because we have an infinite... Theirs is always going to go on first, which is going to allow us to bounce this first. Um, And then we're not going to have to sacrifice anything because we don't want anything in play. So, like, it's a situation where, like... They probably can't play anything that safely, right? Yeah, I'm just going to pass here. Actually, no, because we still have the sack a dude and bounce a dude because, like, it's pretty rough. This being one of the few cards that are in our hand is both a benefit and a and a conifit, which is the opposite of a benefit. It's like a reverse benefit. A detriment. <clears throat> uh, sh are they going to kill their own thing? Oh, that's hilarious if they do that. Wow! That's gas. Alright. Well. And we can play around Force Spike with Vengeful Pharaoh, so. I think they knew they were just in, like, Shadowborn Demon Lock, where, like, we just bounce our demon every turn and kill every creature they play. Plus, we also get a block, so even if they play, like, two guys, uh, we still have a 5-6 up until the point where it gets bounced, so. We will sack a Vengeful Pharaoh. Maybe we just sack, sack the Shadowborn Demon, and then we have Vengeful Pharaoh, which is also lethal, but it doesn't force us to have a creature to sacrifice every turn. And the game has ended. Okay. Seems good. Gravedigger would have been good there. Get back anything, really. Hell's Caretaker. That was actually quite comical how that ended up. I'm pretty sure we just submit like this. I don't think any of these cards are particularly... Uh... 
Yeah, that seems fine. Shadowborn Demon Lock. Not gonna be confused. Not con not to be confused with Demon Lord Bells and Lock. Yeah, they're similar but different. Ah, uh, this hand seems great. Three drop into four drop into five drop into six drop. Seems great as long as we can hit two lands and the Rager should help with that. <clears throat> oh, I like Liliana. Uh, before we play Demon because it's a free. Actually, maybe we just uh. Maybe we just sack the priest to, to the demon because it's just better to get rid of the 2-2 two -two that deals us to a turn. This is a mono day. First we did mono white, now we're doing mono black A. Man, that was a good card. Wood Elves is OP. Uh, she's gonna play Liliana here. She's better to have on board, and uh, they they're green blue, so they probably don't have a way to kill her. Meanwhile, this does stop some some bleeding. Hmm. They didn't play anything. <clears throat> Fascinating. Pretty sure just gonna play Rager here. We know they have Aether Spouts. We saw it last game. They're one man away from like a Palaka Worm. Are you going to counter this guy? I don't think so. This guy's not counterable. You think you're counterable. We saw Jace's Fish. Jace's Fish Friend as well. The 4-4 four, four Mind Eel. I don't know what it's called. There it is. That's what we were, that's what we were thinking about. Murder. Dang it. So close, yet so far. <clears throat> well. Did we play land? We did play land. Actually, Priest is good, but this guy's got Trample. So that's sad. Yeah, this is still pretty good. Also, Hell's Caretaker can sacrifice this guy. I keep getting it back. We can just keep cycling through demons. That's gasoline. Pretty, 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 pretty good. Oh, you're just going to bounce my demon. Well, that's the rudest thing you can possibly do. Well, I will block here and flip Liliana, so. Oh, they didn't want to attack. Intriguing. Most intriguing. I think we got just Hell's Caretaker. <clears throat> So next turn we can actually sacrifice this guy to Hell's Care. Uh, no, we can't. Dang it, hmm. that's unfortunate. <coughs> uh, we have to play Demon. Hell's Caretaker sacrifice this guy to get something back that doesn't exist. Jace's Mind Seeker. That's what it was. Yeah, I don't want to take a million damage here, so we're just gonna flip this. Uh, they discard a card here. Their last card. I'll just get rid of a swamp here. <clears throat> and now we're actually in great shape. They have no cards. We have enough. We have enough power to block uh, Palaka Worm and still survive. Block with Demon and Rager, and then these guys don't really do much. So. And we want creatures in the graveyard because we do want targets for things like Hell's Caretaker or what have you. So, not like they're going to actually sacrifice it, but here comes Jace's Mind Seeker. Mind Fish. Oh, they confiscated our Liliana. Seems good. That is a powerful wizard. Oh, uh, I'm gonna all just gonna all go away on here. <clears throat> yep. Sure. All right, this is good. This is good. 
And if we discard Hell's Caretaker, it's actually totally fine. Totes fine. So Hell's Caretaker, we can actually get back the Priest of the Bloodline next turn. We can sack like a zombie to get back the Priest and sack the Priest to, you know, get back something else. Yeah, this is just fine. Uh, let's get back Priest. Sacrifice Ranger. And next time we can sack the priest to uh, get back something else. So <clears throat> we can't kill, like, they're just going to actually, we're just going to kill this guy because they're going to make us discard it with Liliana next turn anyway. So uh, I'd rather just kill the Liliana. Liliana, Liliana. And then that leaves them with nothing on board and we have a lot of things. think we win the game I'm no expert but our deck is cool all right all righty then No spoilers, because I have not started watching this season yet, but is Rick Grimes on this season of Walking Dead? Is this his last one? <clears throat> it doesn't make sense for the previous one to be the last one, right? So this has to be the last one, right? Can someone let me know without spoiling anything from this season? Machank, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Have a good afternoon, buddy. Oh, we're playing against Fusro Da. That's awesome. I'm a fan. <clears throat> which is the best colors to choose for in this cube none really like in I, i'm gonna give the i feel like i give the same advice for most drafts like there's no like i feel like drafts are pretty balanced uh recently i i haven't really seen a format where you want to just force a specific thing so um just look for the signals that are open and uh, go that way like this for example like the previous one we were definitely open in white all the white cards are tabling and this was black the black was was really obvious here so i feel like these last two drafts have been very very well positioned for us also this hand is great three drop four drop five drop they're gonna play a two drop here oh man this guy again let's see how many mines they can get i'll let you get a mine because i don't really care about it hopefully he'll die Yes, <laughs> fantastic. Oh, man, Kaboomist. You got one mine out of it. That's good. Hey, that's pretty good for you. Our hand is pretty gas here. <clears throat> we can do all the things. Oh, they missed the land drop. Yeah, I don't know how the red deck deals with the Grave Pact. I guess they just don't play creatures. <clears throat> PT stream over viewers incoming sounds good I'll take it oh yeah this guy's dead but not like dead in your traditional sense I'm probably just going to play priest and if you want to kill either of these two then that's just fine however there's definitely a situation where they can play like siege gang commander and it's terrible for us just terrible Oh, they got to play a fifth land for that. And they've missed two land drops so far. Also, Corrupt seems pretty insane against the uh, Zimano Red Dick. Uh, deals two damage to target attacking creature without flying. Okay, so we're going to block block. And that means... Oh, they didn't attack. Okay. Well, that's pretty good. I'll just take two here. Probably just gonna kill this guy. <laughs> I, don't, I don't feel like we're. Uh... Also, God, corrupt against the red deck. 
I said it already, but I'm just so I'm so overwhelmed with how powerful that's going to be. 14 point life swing at least. So whatever they try to play, I'm just going to kill Ogre Battle Driver in response. Oh, they didn't play anything, so. Man, what's going on? Well. I'm going to use Terror just because in case they have any kind of artifact creatures, which is very, very possible in this cube. Um. Oh, and that's the end. All right, well, that was a good game. Both sides played hard. I kind of like Graveblade Marauder, Marauder over... Yeah, I guess none of these. <clears throat> I almost like Mutilate, actually. It kills... We have so many creatures that it kills, though. Which sounds silly, but it is relevant. I'm going to submit like this. I don't think we're outclassed by any means, so... Uh, this hand seems actually great for this particular matchup. I will keep it. If we can draw tendrils, all right, three drop is great too. All right. I feel like this is a better late game card. I'd rather just start with the black cat. It can block something, and then it can also. Make them discard a card at random, which is pretty huge. <clears throat> All right. How many drills? Uh, ten. There's ten of them. Oh, that's a dude. Also, a lot of these creatures are just terrible to, uh... uh... I mean, like, I'll just sacrifice all of them for, for Shadowborn Demon. Really? Alright, I'll block you. Oh, Magma Phoenix, that's not the one. There it is! There's the... There's the beautiful lad. I'm a little lad who loves tendrils! of corruption you're gonna kill this and attack for a bunch no see this is what i'm talking about this is the artifact you wanted to keep murder around for do i care about that i don't think so and i'll gladly just sack this guy for a demon next turn i guess you have two cards in hand yeah i'm okay with this i'll just take two it gets renowned, but it's only relevant for non-creature spells, right? Which we have one of. Here's a non-creature spell. It was not a, it's not a non-creature spell. I don't think you're trading <clears throat> with this guy. And if you do, well. All right, two cards in hand. Can you deal six damage? No. But that is a lot of things. I don't really... Oh my god, we have two of, two of four demons. That's pretty hilarious. Um, I feel like we just want a Shadowborn Demon here and kill the Scab Clan Mauler. And then, like, if they have six damage and they want to go, like, shoot, 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 we can take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think that's fine. Well, no, because we have a blocker even, so I'm not even... That's not even a real thing that would happen. So, yeah, I'll just attack you for six here. Put you to 12. I might just... I'm going to sacrifice the Shadowborn Demon to itself. Oh, I see. This is how it's going to be. It's lethal? I don't think so. Especially because we have tendrils for six next turn. That's pretty brutal. <laughs> just this guy alright well oh do you have a oh this is great because I was going to sacrifice this dude anyway wow that's fantastic <clears throat> oh 
Okay, so... 6U. I don't actually think you can win here. If we kill the Siege Gang Commander, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 damage. And we gain 6, or at 22. Like, there's no top deck you could have. We have to kill Siege Gang, because otherwise, if they hit a land, they can kill our demon. So... Oh, we can also play... Yeah, alright. <laughs> alright, I think we're just done here. <clears throat> yep, Demon of Catastrophes. Still a hell of a drug. Alright, 4-0. <laughs> Seems good. So currently in matches, we are 10-1 right now. Which seems good. I don't know. Is that good? I don't know. I will keep this hand. Black is one of the two best colors in Magic. Sarah, what's the other one, would you say? I'll crack this in. Did they not crack their Evolving Worlds? Fascinating. I'm pretty sure it's Rager's better because we want to hit a, a more efficient drop for next turn, like a four drop. Plus, this doesn't look like a deck that's going to actually uh, kill the Necromancer on their turn, so that ability is not super relevant. Okay, there's a lot of lands. <coughs> we get it, lands. So, we're just going to attack with Nantuko Shade. It's not a phase lands. All right, this is fine. We're going to pump you one, which is perfect, and then we can still play the Necromancer, so. I'm on board for all the things that are happening right now. They might be planning a Day of Judgment slash Wrath of God, but then we have Necromancer, so we get a 2-2 out of it. Not terrible. What deck do you feel you haven't drafted in this format? Tons of decks. I haven't drafted many, actually. I've just been drafting mostly monocolor decks, which have been working out very, very well. Uh, we did well with mono green. Did we do mono green? No, that was a splash. We had blue in there. Uh, we did good, very well with mono red, mono black, mono blue. No, mono white. Okay, Lance. I literally said I get it. They're going to block here. They take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. But then we have Corrupt. This is actually totally okay with me. <clears throat> and we're going to pump this dude to infinity and beyond. So you take 9, you go to you go to 9. But then we have five, six, seven, eight lands in hand, so. <clears throat> oh, you're just going to bounce my Nantugo. Sade? Okay. It's not your finest moment, but that's okay. I forgive you. Hmm. That's a big boy. So this and Corrupt kills you next turn. That's how we do it here. Uh, two two with first strike is better than two two without first strike. That's my that's my that's my per belief. I don't know what I'm saying right now. So if we attacked here, they would just trade. Then we'd have a zero zero or a two two token with zero, and then they could just ratchet bomb to kill it. So whereas right now we're gonna sack the necromancer and uh, play shadowborn or attack with shadowborn. Words are hard. All right, <clears throat> Let's see if we can corrupt you. This is where they go bounce this guy. Nope. Catalog. Oh, you're dead. Oh, you're dead. <laughs> Why are you cataloging kind of response? I guess you're trying to hit like condemn, maybe. Oh, the the death is real.
got him. <clears throat> ha, got him. Okay, so um You could have killed the blue creature and corrupt was lethal. How how what does that even mean? I mean, they didn't have a blocker. How does the how does killing the blue creature make it lethal? But how do we kill the blue creature? Demon kills blue guy. You attack for two. Oh, I see. Oh, you're saying that turn because they attacked with the, the knight. Yeah, sure. Yeah, that works too. <clears throat> Are you talking about like two turns ago? Turn ago, yeah. Pro nexus of fate in this format or anti nexus in the even the cube? I mean, it doesn't it hasn't bothered me. I've had two people play Nexus of Fate against me. All I did was draw them one card. I don't actually feel like we need anything here. Oh, reassembling skeleton is like the best card. Oh, this is great. Wow, <clears throat> reassembling into Frexian Arena into Demon. Good lord, how do you lose this game? Oh boy. Oh boy. Look at this curve. Two, three, four, five, seven. That's a good one, too. <coughs> don't force spike my little my little skeleton. What if we don't even lose a game? That'd be sick, right? get in there them bones them bones don't counter this don't mana leak it oh it's so good don't oh <laughs> wow you have no soul whatever we got a demon next turn what do you got nothing That's a fair trade. <clears throat> we also can get Priest of the Blood right next turn. Which is also fine. Yeah, that's fine. Bounce this guy. You got it. We'll play Priest. <clears throat> then we'll play Demon again. Oh, you're going to do me for six. Okay. So we're going to 12 in total. Oh, Shadowborn Demon's nice. Block, block. I mean, Soren's Vengeance gets us way back in this game. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five. Probably something good. That would be my guess. They've changed their mind. Oh, I love Satchel. I love a Satchel. Hmm. They have three cards in hand. We could just mind shatter their hand. A lot of good options here. We have all th we have three out of four demons. Yeah, I think shatter for threes here good here is good. Um, they could crack mindstone in response. I don't think that's great. Wow, Cleansing Nova, Disciple, and War Priest of Thune. I'm just going to attack with this guy. If they want to block, it's totally fine. It does kind of strand Demon in hand, but I don't think they're going to block, so. What did they reveal? 
Sentinel of the Eternal Watch. That's actually very good. One, two, three, four, five. <clears throat> oh, it actually doesn't strand demon because we actually can if we if we get six mana we can actually just bring back skeleton. Yeah, I want to get this off the board before they play Sentinel. Also, skeleton in the graveyard is insane for Shadowborn Apostle, Shadowborn Demon. Um, they're gonna play this on their turn, and they're gonna tap one of our flyers. So I really don't want to attack here. Maybe we should have. I don't know. Pretty sure this game is over, though. Like, we know one of the cards in their hand. Sure. So I'm pretty sure we're just getting back Reassembling Skeleton, sacrificing it to... Sacrificing it to the Demon. And then if we draw a land, we're playing Demon of Catastrophes here. Just so I want to get this guy off the board before he kills us. Actually, I guess we could just get this guy off the board now. Yeah, that's fine. Land? Yeah, that's what we wanted. Okie dokie. I do kind of just want to attack you for 10. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 7. I think we just attack you for 10 and kill this. Yeah, this is what we're doing. <clears throat> Puts you to 7. And then you're... D 1, 2, 3, 4. You're dead to any land. You're dead to land or... Two demons. So I, I, I don't know. What are, you, what are you gonna do? Demons are OP. So we can take five here. I don't think they can deal us another three with one card in their hand. I don't know. I don't think so. Okay. Um. <clears throat> I guess we're just attacking with both. Oh, they're going to... Now even gaining life doesn't do it. Okay, an island. Yep. Yep, that's a... That's a dig. And death. All right, and 6-0. Not a single loss there. That was pretty sweet. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can check me out on Twitch and on Patreon. Both of the links are in the description below. For Patreon, a dollar a month gets you all the content on Patreon and also uh, most of the content on Patreon, I think. I don't know. Anyway, it's just a dollar a month. It's super cheap and uh, helps me out. So check that out. And you can also check me on these.com slash Frank if you guys are in the market for new underwear, uh, lounge pants, onesies, socks, tees, whatever you're looking for. They have it. It's super comfortable. You get 15% off and you get free shipping and free returns, which is an awesome perk. So thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I will see you next time.